Uh, we're going to start. A, all right. I think we're going to get ready to start because this is a little live stream, so there's no point to wait. Uh, I know this is the end of the day, so thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Um, today, uh, we're going to talk about operate sidecar and sidecar list application with Istio and Argo rollout. My name is Lin Sang. I'm the director of open source at solo.io. How, how many of you heard of a small company? Oh, yeah. Wow. A lot of you. Thank you. Awesome. Um, so how many of you know Istio? Service mesh architecture. Okay, I don't need to explain the slides because you guys know, oh, we have sidecar architecture, the control plane is programming the sidecar to do intelligent things such as policies. Uh, how many of you are aware of we're driving a new architecture called Ambient in the Istio community? Wow, many of you. Okay, good job. Um, so essentially what we are uh, involving Ambient is what if you don't need to drag that sidecar along with your application? What if you just need layer four functionality? We would provide a per node proxy for you that implement the layer four functionality for you, such as layer four authorization policy, layer four uh, traffic management. So that's what we are involving in the Istio community. Uh, what we are also involving is also split the layer four and layer seven uh, into a uh, different architecture where layer four is implemented uh, per node proxy, which is the uh, orange thing you see here that's called a zero trust tunnel. And then the layer seven is implemented by waypoint proxy, continue use our favorite proxy, which is Envoy proxy. So today, I'm going to talk you through my journey of using Argo rollout uh, with uh, applications running in Istio Ambient. So how many of you have used uh, Argo rollout with Istio application with Saika? A few of you? Okay, I actually saw a bunch of tutorial on that, so I'm not going to focus primarily my talk on that, just because it's already been known how to do that. There's very clear steps on how to do that. But the key thing is you can potentially run your application with Sidecar and the application without sidecar in Istio, uh, they can talk to each other, right? So, and you can continue to use Argo rollout to roll out your updates seamlessly, whether you're using sidecar or without sidecar. So because I'm doing a lightning talk, um, so I'm capture screenshots for you, but I could do a live demo if I actually have more time. Since I only have five minutes, I'm just go through the demo in a screenshots uh, format. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy an Argo application in Argo rollout. And this is a really simple application where I deploy a hello world, I define the successful criteria for rollout uh, through a rollout analysis template. I also have um, Istio virtual service and gateway resource. These are used to config uh, traffic uh, come into the Istio ingress gateway to hello world. Um, so so as you can see, everything was synced okay in this example. And I'm using this GitHub repository, uh, which is open source, by the way. And then I specified the path when I create the Argo application. So uh, what I'm doing next is I'm rolling out a newer version of my Hello application using Argo rollout set image command. And then I'm checking out the rollout status throughout the process. So the first time when I come in, you know, I would see the step is on zero and uh, we just started to, you know, uh, look at the canary, get it deployed, the containers are creating. By the way, if you look at here right now, you can see my hello world. They are um, without any of the sidecars, right? That's what a one slash one, zero slash one means. Uh, so my hello world uh, version two is trying to come up with the new image. Now, as I'm checking out my rollout status, you can see right now it's three slash eight, which means uh, we are halfway, almost halfway done. It's paused because in the rollout analysis template, I try to 
uh, in the rollout uh, configuration, I try to roll out, uh, pause every 20 seconds, just making sure the results uh, is consistent. And you can see the analysis is running. Uh, you know, I got one checks, uh, so that's why it's moved forward from zero slash eight to three slash eight. Uh, as it's continue forward, uh, it's continued to roll out to five slash eight. Uh, in this case, it means uh, a little bit more than four. 50% uh, of the traffic would go to Hello version two, and then the remainder uh, less than, less than uh, w which by the way, you can see the weight here, I forgot. So 60% is going to version two, 40% is going to version one, and uh, the rollout is going really well. And the, in the meanwhile, you can also see the virtual service. By the way, the virtual service resource in Istio means uh, the traffic route configuration. Uh, you can see the current um, virtual service resource for the Hello World on my system, which is how the program away is done by version two have 60% and version one, which is the stable has 40%. Um, and I also have another terminal that shows uh, the current result goes to Hello World service, and you can see it's roughly about 60% uh, goes to version two. Uh, let's continue checking out the rollout status. And right now it's eight slash eight. Uh, right now it's 100% goes to version two, which you can see the version one of Hello World is getting scaled down while the pods being terminated. So that's pretty much the final stage of the rollout. And then you can see 100% goes to version two. Now, uh, one thing I want to highlight, this is new with Ambient, is um, I actually deploy a waypoint proxy, right? We talk about waypoint proxy architecture a little bit early in Ambient, right? So waypoint proxy is the key that helps does layer seven traffic management, layer seven traffic enforcement. So before I started my rollout, I deploy the waypoint proxy to help uh, facilitate that traffic shifting. Um, at the end, after I roll out to version two, I no longer need to have the waypoint proxy, so I no longer need to pay for the cost to run it, to operate, I can actually remove it. So at the end, I actually remove the waypoint proxy to save the cost. This is very different than sidecar because with sidecar, you can't, right? The sidecar is going to be with you regardless of whether you are on version two or after your successful rollout. In summary, Argo rollout continue to work with application, with sidecar or without sidecar, uh, moving uh, application from base version to Canary version are very helpful using Argo rollout. In my opinion, Argo rollout is actually made a lot easy and also flexible by uh, you only pay for waypoint when you really need it uh, with Istio Ambient. So check out the GitHub repo and play with this yourself. Thank you all for attending my talk. I will be, I don't think Lightning Talk has time for questions, so I will be around if you guys have any questions. Thank you.